So when I first heard that my university was canceling its classes, or rather converting them to an online format, I was super disappointed. I like teaching. Uh, I like smiling faces. I like being in the same room with people and thinking hard about important things. And yeah, as the reality of what like digital life was going to be and the realities of quarantining and sheltering in place and what converting class into a virtual format was going to entail, honestly, I got pretty depressed because so many of the things that I love about my job were being taken away from me and there was no shortage of emails and forms and kind of bureaucratic things to worry about. And it was like everything that I loved about my work was going away and everything that I hated about my work was at least staying the same, if not doubling or quadrupling. That was when I first heard about it. Then like a weekend, I'm supposed to, spring break is done. I'm supposed to be converting my classes. Uh, and yeah, I got depressed um, and pretty lonely and the sense of isolation got pretty real. Um, and weighing that against just like the ugliness of the news and people dying and, uh, you know, my worries about folks without homes and how they would quarantine and what resources were getting disrupted because of other things that were getting closed. Uh, I don't know. Um, it, it got pretty dark for me for a little bit. Um, but I'm, I'm glad to say, I guess, uh, or I can report that on a day like today, um, I'm pretty excited. I'm pretty excited about the opportunities um, that this semester still holds and the ways that um, what is absolutely a crisis also holds um, seeds of, of renewal. Um, when I think about the kind of teacher that I want to be, I'm always reminded of this story that one of my favorite professors once told me when I was an undergraduate. Um, he was a soldier in um, South Korea, and when he was a young man, uh, he, uh, yeah, joined the army. And uh, he describes being in the military as being handed a gun and told to walk over a mountain. And then when he got there, told to walk over a different mountain. Uh, so there wasn't a lot of like action or combat in his uh, military service. Um, but he tells this story of how he came into this village after all of the fighting was over and how, um, you know, there were buildings that had been, you know, damaged or knocked down or destroyed and how everything was just kind of chaos as people were trying to figure out what their life was actually going to look like and, and where they were going to sleep and what they were going to do. Um, and as he moved through this, uh, through this city, he came upon a young man who had taken the bricks of a collapsed building and set them uh, in a semicircle. And he had young um, children uh, with sticks drawing their characters in the dirt. And uh, he says that that was the moment that he realized that he was not a very good soldier, but maybe was called to being a teacher. And... Um, I always think of that story when, when people ask me to write a teaching philosophy or ask me to, you know, articulate what it is that I imagine the process of teaching to be. Um, and for me, the heart of that story, the, the moral of that, of, of that lesson is that when all goes amiss and everything that we know falls to pieces, it's not the only reaction, but one of the most important reactions is to look at the rubble of the old world and say, well, where do we start and what do we need to know in order to build it together again? So the next seven weeks are going to be seven weeks of, of learning. Um, and uh, one of the things that I'm enthusiastic about is the opportunity to share in different ways, uh, to support each other in different ways. And um, I'm very mindful of the fact that over the course of that time, all of our emotional and moral lives um, are going to involve a lot of dynamic shifts in that sometimes, uh, you know, we're going to need uh, each other as a distraction and, you know, to not focus on the things that are troubling. And sometimes we're going to need to circle up and uh, really connect uh, on the most current events and the things that you know, are frustrating or bothering or inspiring us. Um, so here's to uh, 
the sit, sitting in 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 the rubble. Uh, we're not quite there yet. Um, in 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 most places, but um, as uh, the things and the the ordinary ways of being uh, shift away, um, this is our chance uh, to ask: How do we build? How do we think and imagine uh, a new world into being? And how is a crisis seeds of the next thing to come?